I think there are a, few, a couple songs that are a little different than anything we've done in the past. Um, like I said, some of the some of the songs that kind of are in the the middle ground between the really heavy and the the ballad stuff, uh, songs like "Hell Don't Need Me." I think that song's actually pretty different for us. Um, I think it still fits and it still flows with the record, but it has kind of a different a different vibe to it. Um, it's almost like a haunting, droning kind of thing. Um, lyrically, it's a little different as well. Um, <clears throat> the the language is a little more casual than uh, a usual ordinary Demon Hunter song. Um, but I, I wasn't sure if it was really going to fit when we were done with all the songs. We did 14 in total, um, two of which are exclusive to the deluxe edition. And uh, it was really hard to tell. I didn't want to put more than 12 songs on the standard record. Um, I'm not a, that's even pushing it for me. I'm not a fan of really long records. Um, I'd rather go short than long. Um, so when we were kind of coming towards the end of recording the songs, it was, it was still really hard to tell which songs to push onto the deluxe as B-sides. Um, ultimately that decision was, it did feel maybe a little bit heavy on the, the mellow stuff. Uh, if we were to add Helpless Hope back in, um, it would almost feel like a half and half record, which I didn't want to do. Um, but I thought for a while that Hell Don't Need Me was going to be that song that would end up getting ejected. Um, but I actually really like how it fits and, and where it sits in the record. Um, I think it really helps kind of the, the journey of the, the songs. Um, Gasoline is another one that to me is um, quite a bit different than anything we've done in the past. It's the closest comparison to it would be I Play Dead from Summer of Darkness, which is essentially a ballad that kind of uh, takes you by surprise on, during the chorus and gets heavy, which is kind of um, unashamedly uh, mocking or, or uh, taking a page out of the Pantera book with um, This Love. Um, I always loved that, how that song um, just kind of started one way and you kind of had your mind made up about where it was going to go and then all of a sudden it took a left turn and uh, I've been meaning to you know I know a lot of people liked I Play Dead and uh, I've been meaning to write another song that kind of did that but I didn't want to I didn't want to make it too much of a habit or you know make it something that happened on every record so it felt like the the right time to kind of pull that that uh, tool out of out of the out of the case for this record um, yeah, it essentially has like a really melodic, mellow, um, kind of droney thing happening in the in the verses, in the pre-chorus. And just when you think it's going to break into the chorus, it goes into this real heavy riff and, and just a, a single word scream chorus. Um, which I, I, The feedback we've got from that so far from the people that have heard it really like it. So... That's another one that I wasn't positive if it, if it was going to fit on the record or if it was enough of a, of a song. Um, I, I kind of second thought that, the structure and stuff quite a, quite a bit with that song. Mm -hmm. 